amazing, bro. She was a, a camera assistant to my brother. Um, yo, she's she's amazing. I really have to see your episode. Well done on that, the brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Till today. Till today. You wanna get married in that church? Yeah, my partner and I actually met there. <laughs> Really? People are going there to pray. I mean, you guys are busy God fighting. God placed them there for me. I can't deny God's will. No. <laughs> no. Um, lack of sustainability. Like, if you are upcoming and you don't have things like the brandy that are, like you're not a brand ambassador or you don't have like mm. your established business or you don't have a name mm. like a proper name mm. and then auna security oh. ah yeah okay <laughs> yeah you had to make it seed you didn't you didn't get it i was top two with me and i didn't get it you were top two why but why because like if they give you a reason for it oh you could have you could have yeah i see it it's a chat in this industry about numbers you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Welcome to Dishout Podcast with your boy, the champ, the untouchable. Uh, we finally hit 100 subscribers. Uh, thank you very much uh, for subscribing. Uh, please comment below and tell me what is it that you like about the channel. What is it that um, you don't like about the channel? So thank you for... Please uh, subscribe, like, and share. I'm chilling with the one and only... The amazing, the beautiful, the multi-talented, the super amazing um, actress, super superstar. Lerat, I nearly said excellent Walaza. Are you related to excellent Walaza? Oh Walaza? my gosh. I feel like Pippi Lemu facing you. But are you related? <laughs> not that I know of. You sure? Not but though, this is not the first time you... Yes. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Chilling with Lerato Walaza. How are you doing? I'm good in yourself. I'm good. Thank you very much for doing this. No man, no problem. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. Thank uh, you for having me. Taking your time and then also blow my letter so that you can tell us more about yourself. Thank you for having me. I hope what I have to say but you were right. Like a crack and pour out. Next. <laughs> and, uh, they wouldn't. You you are you are super an amazing human being, man. You Thank are super you. Um, you believe in God so much. I can see on your status. Do you believe in God? A lot. Ne? Do you yeah. which church you go to? St. Michael's and All Angels. St. Michael's and All Angels. Bazalon? Mm-hmm. Anglican in Sunnyside. In Sunnyside? Mm. Oh, okay. St. Angels. Yeah, it's a home church. I grew up there. Mm-hmm. Till today. Till today. You want to get married in that church? Yeah, my partner and I actually met there. <laughs> People are going there to pray. I mean, you guys are busy God fighting. God placed them there for me. I can't deny God's will. Ne? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. So, before we get to your partner and you guys meeting mm. up in church, who's Lele Rato Walaza? Can you tell us about it? So, that means she's taken. So, she, dad, be, being Let's single, get over that. <laughs> out, of, that. out of the I window. Uh, Loretto Walaza is an actor. Mm. She is a model, a filmmaker, a creative rather. Let me just say that I'm a mm-hmm. creative. Um, I'm a very introverted person, mm-hmm. especially around people that I'm not comfortable with. Oh, so, okay. But once you get to know me, you get to see my bubbly side. But I still I still have more of my introvertedness rather than being extroverted. Yeah. Yeah. I am a believer. I believe in God big time. Um he's pulled me through so many things <laughs> a lot. Mm-hmm. Um so I'm grateful for that. And he has placed me in parts where I didn't know her and corner. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I feel like 
a itseng go ba ka khone go thusa ene ke ke le rato la re bontlang le ona for all yeah man in a nutshell i'm a creative and i am a bubbly person ne? i am a very bubbly person so you love for acting like uh, that's what i why not a nurse why not a doctor like why did you decide to take this uh this journey <laughs> and some people say acting is a calling it is i was about to say cuz i don't think i chose acting mm-hmm. i think acting chose me because it has saved me from times where i felt too alone and it's my comfort space oh. it's what brings me it brings me safety it brings me a feeling of like i belong somewhere and i'm good at something cuz um yeah the the certain challenges that i went through I, I struggled to the expressor. Mm. So then I was able to express myself through acting. Oh, so okay. yeah, some parts I couldn't talk to people about how they made me feel or how I am feeling um and instead of crying about it and feeling sorry for myself, then I turned those emotions to acting. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So you when you tell to your parents that you know what I'm pursuing this dream of becoming an actress how do they take it my mom i was raised by my mom um, i come from a home of just girls me my mom and my sister so my mom is a very supportive person mama ko tlo botsa i don't understand what you want to do but as long as it makes you happy mm, pick up nice. support so i studied um go pro arte it's an art school pro arte mm-hmm. often park go menlo park and how many years high school from grade 8 oh, to matric. from grade 8 oh okay i did i specialized in drama and then i continued for varsity as well got to ut mm. so my mom was always supportive oh okay like, all the time she came to all my shows when i was still like a minor nanki sadi auditioning if not pallo my sister would take, take me to audition oh, okay. so i come from a home that's very supportive even right now they still, um uh, they're very supportive because mm. obviously the industry has its ups and downs but they they support me they might not understand especially mm-hmm. my mom might not understand but she's very supportive in mm. saying that um listen be grateful for the gigs that you've been getting mm-hmm. just continue to believe in yourself and the breakthrough that is going to come through and then how how was how was tut for you because you studied acting there that's how tut was amazing yeah. i feel like tut ke mo ke tikrelang hore ke nna mang ke rata eng a ke rata eng it um pushed me it challenged me as a as a person and as an actor as well cuz na le di roads ke di grilling ke tsene vele ko fa city ke putse gore eh na great you know i'm great and i'm going to do this no matter what um and yes i am great but obviously there were um characters that i got that i wasn't i got it clear immediately and i was like okay i'm good at it i had to they challenged me so i had to sit down and also challenge myself and find myself in a place where okay Yes you are a good actress but now this is something outside of you mm. so how do you get there as well mm. But TT was really good How many years was uh, did you do in TT in TT I did 4 years I did 3 years to get my diploma mm. so to get my BTEC I had to do an extra year in acting in acting Like what is it what is it that they are teaching you guys They teach are you, write, you are you even writing exams or you get to They do um you get, get exams to perform you get exams in terms us. of Bauruta the history of what? drama of drama how drama started back in the days like bo um Greek mythology mm-hmm. they teach you that Can they tell me Macbeth can you do this Macbeth Shakespeare Oh Shakespeare yes they teach you about there. Oh that. okay yes, like Greek, Greek mythology mm-hmm. Macbeth um and then they also teach you African theater even though we don't have a lot of information about it but mm-hmm. the little that we do know based on word of mouth mm-hmm. and also being blessed with um um uh, african lecturers who obviously give out i don't want to say about what kale but mm, yeah yeah <laughs> you know give out so they were exposed to people like Bob Gibson Kente or Bob Bongeninge mm. and all those sorts so yeah they teach us that they teach you theater history mm. they also teach you oral interpretation and text analysis how to analyze a script mm-hmm. so knowing like you get a script it then you as a char- you have a character and mm-hmm. it tells you what are your given circumstances yeah. so those are like things that 
influence the character's thoughts, the character's emotions, the mm. character's behavior. Yeah. So they teach you how to analyze that for you to make a conclusive decision of where you want to take your character. Oh, okay. So you enjoyed, basically you enjoyed uh, TUT? I really did. Yeah. I enjoyed the performances, and the, the shows. And then TUT students like strike at uh, and stuff. Not one in it. Which one? Which, which I one? At campus. Uh, which one is that? In, in the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Class, class. Mm, mm. Never a strike is. Oh. Never stop the class. So that's the only way. So did you? Would you say you were an A plus student? No, I'm mm-hmm. a. I apply myself. Oh okay. I'm not a. I'm not a bookworm. I won't even lie. <laughs> I apply myself if I have to do something, I have to do it. But I'm more of a, I'm a character who is active. Active, ne? Yeah. So were you still attending the auditions at the time you were at, at the TUT no. or you were like focused on. You know what, ne? This is one thing I didn't, one of a few things I didn't like about TUT. Mm. They told us when we started that we can't go for auditions while we're doing school, which I get because schedulers are on, I can't get difficult it can mm. get tense so maybe okay you're missing out on a class yeah. or an assessment or whatever mm. but i feel like once you get to third year and on a lady subject is already chosen because the first two years your, your schedule is very tight but mm. it's already run but once you get to third year you choose the subjects that you want to yeah. go for and yeah. your schedule is more relaxed oh. but they still didn't allow us. You had to lie. Mm. You had to lie. Oh, okay, the excuse for why you can't come to class. And I feel like that hinders us a lot because mm. our, you get exposure later. Like, mm. only after we talk school, we can understand the whole Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm silent. We can understand the You don't even know who the guy is. Yeah. Now you're yeah. like... I don't know where to go because mm. you don't have connections. You haven't built on connections. You don't know who to go to unless you have people. But no build a level and go school long where you guys say this is what we want to do. Mm-hmm. But still, I learn that information about the industry itself. Oh, okay. So that's the one thing in Wait, Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Back at it. Deep Shot Podcast, uh, still hanging out with the amazing, uh, beautiful Taken, apparently. Um, <laughs> so, TUT <laughs> didn't allow you to, 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 to attend auditions. No, but towards my P-Tech, mm. kayak, third year, we get the, our final exams are stages. There's a special audition or final exam, mm. but they bring um, agencies oh. to come and scout for new talent. Okay. So, come my end of exam, I didn't even know that there were agencies. I didn't know that people were coming coming to through to even. watch mm-hmm. us. Um, so, beginning of my B-Tech, I got an email from an agent who said that they were there for my exam and they mm-hmm. had to sign me. Even. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> I, I promise you. Which agent was this? Fourth wall management. Fourth wall management. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it was new at that time, and obviously I was new as well. So mm. I was like, "Hey, let me go for it." Not a yeah. lot of people have that. Do you um, remember what you, what what you have for me? Yes, I do. Which year was this? At twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. What did you? I was doing my third year. I was doing my final exam. I did a extract from a movie called Yeah, Elia Shalisteron, where she's like the evil witch. Mm-hmm. There's Snow White and something, something. What's, what was the first line, if you remember? <laughs> Why on the most spot on No, sorry, I swear, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I do remember the mm. the vibe of it. I don't remember what the What type of vibe lines. was it? It was a, vino, a vin, villain. I was playing a villain. No, okay. Yeah, I was playing a villain. So was it just the monologue, you were there alone, yes. or it was just a group of... No, it was your final exam, when I group work, Honolulu physical theater, which mm-hmm. is movement, and then you also have to do a monologue on your own. No, oh. you have to show what you've been studying for three years. So the monologue that you did, can actually throw. Yes. Oh, and then the group one, which, which it's a what did we do for group work? I don't remember. What were you day. playing there? I don't remember. 
Okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. So now you got the the agent says send you an email say hey come yeah, through. Yeah. So then I met up with him. I went with my sister. Mm. Met up with him. Told me what he. I mean, he told me what he wants to do mm. on what he does, what he provides, and I was like, let's go for it. No, so no. Nice. That's when I started going for auditions in BTEC, mm. but I still couldn't tell them. Like my lecturers, or oh, that you busy attending. No, yeah. I had to be in secret about it. Oh, okay. So end of just towards Kifeta B Tech, which mm. was 2016, I got an audition for MTV Sugar. Mm. But I didn't tell anybody. I went through the process, the audition, called back, and I got it. And by God's grace, like I started shooting. Like I finished school this Friday. Mm. Next week, Monday, I started shooting. You lie. I promise you. First, 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 and I thought you did. So it was your first ever gig. And it was my first, first ever gig. Ever too. 2016. We're straight after school. And then, uh, what character? Um, Zamo. On Zamo. MTV how was how was like playing Zamo? Zamo is fun. Mm-hmm. Zamo is fun to explore because she's a she's a township girl, man. Whom how much have you left first hand? You think Kura. Or oh, Alabi, so but if she has layers to her, and I feel like every character has layers. Um, people were to judge about to home level first time, mm. because you don't know that they are going through, they're going through yeah. or things that they've been through that mm. have made them the kind of people yeah. that they are now. Mm. So that's another thing about acting. It's like hello, much judge about to first base. Yeah, try to understand what is it that they've been through, what's carrying them, mm. what's been like, what are, what are they carrying? Who the baby about to have saw? Yeah, yeah. Then after MTV Sugar, Shags. To some base, we were more MTN, eh? And more MTV. MTV Sugar, yeah. yeah. We were there together. You were starting with her? Mm. You lie, how was it? <laughs> it was dope, man. Did, did she give you any tips, any... Tusa was also an introverted person, but she's a very... She gives information if you're asking for information. Mm, like okay. She, yeah, if you are out there and you're asking her for information, Atimani, she's a very um, kind person. So she will give you advice that you need, um, how to stand up for yourself because mm-hmm. production sometimes is not low deviator. Um, mm. I think every industry I'm yeah, has, like has management that, yeah. always deviates people. So mm. know how to stand up for yourself, know how to know what battle you can fight or mm. if your agent should fight it for you. Oh, yeah, well, okay. So yeah, she's a cool person, man. Okay. Really cool. That's why she is where she is now. So after MTN Sugar, what did you do? Stop saying MTN, get MTV. MTV. Oh, MTV. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> MTV, MTV. MTV. MTV Sugar, yeah. After MTV, um, that's where you go back to the reality of not knowing connections. So You didn't have? I still. I mean, I did have a few connections, but I was still new, man. I'm still new. I don't know a lot of people. And like I told you oh. earlier, I'm introverted, oh, so I'm yeah, shy. Yeah. Um, you are shy? Shh. That's why I get the comment. I get that comment every time. And guys, let's can be say tell. I'm shy. Guys, come on. Okay. Anyway, um, so 2017, I struggled a bit to find mm. my feet, but I still went to auditions. Um, there's so many auditions I could have gotten. Which which one a did lot, you? A lot. Give us a few. A lot. Um. I auditioned for the Queen. The Queen? Which character? In it, I like Illuminati, mom. I forgot it. She was playing like a tomboy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. No, man, I don't want to be talking about the auditions. I no, but which one did you get? <laughs> which one you didn't get? I don't want to be talking about those. It's Why? gone. It's gone. Yeah, but name one. Did you did you do any audition for I was the supposed river? To, yes, I was supposed to. I was in top Do-me. two with Dumi. Ah! Yeah, 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 to make it see it. You didn't, you didn't get it. I was top two with Tumi and I didn't get it. You were top two. Why? But why? Because, like, if they give you a reason, Hore. Oh, you could have, you could have, yeah, I see it. It's a chat in this industry about numbers. What do you mean, numbers? Numbers on Instagram. Like, that time Tumi had, had more followers than you. So are you saying but I don't want to talk about that, no, man. I don't want to talk ill about. You're not talking. No, okay. So now, so now, if I want to be an actor, that means mm. I must start getting followers. 
first. You have to try push as much as you can, unless you know that there's somebody in the room who gen- like in the audition room who genuinely believes in you, and they're like, "There's no way we can compromise." Sorry, or we can not take this person. Like for for me, MTV Sugar, I didn't have numbers then. I was like. I had 300 or whatever. So what about talent? I mean, like, you went from... You, you went to like three three years three years at TUT. You got the talent. So they don't look at the talent. They look at how many followers you have. Yeah, I think to some extent that's... Sometimes, depending on who is there. Some people do go for the talent. Mm-hmm. Some people go for the numbers. It's business, I guess. But do those numbers bring... From your point of view, do those numbers, if I have 100k followers, does that mean that they should get, you get 100? No, it doesn't mean that, but that's, I think, the perception that they have. Oh, well, because you have a, okay. If you post on your socials, then you're guaranteed to bring us more viewers mm. than somebody who has 2,000 followers. So n- now are you working on growing your, your numbers? I will... I, there was a point where I was like fixated about uh, I need to get numbers, whatever. Mm. And that stressed me because I'm like, hey, I'm starting to do things that are yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to fall into the pressure of the industry. But mm. now I'm like, you know, what's for me is for me, what's not for me, then so there, there was a there was there was a time Dumu was being trolled on Twitter on, on Instagram on what 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 <laughs> <laughs> when or what were you saying? Or you just keep it quiet? I mean, obviously, but you couldn't, couldn't, never to work in a cable. But you, you do stable cloak with that one, ne? Yo, no, Ellen could be stable cloak. Ne? Big time, especially when I saw it, I was like, ah, I could have done, and you'll be gone by now, ne? Yo, you'll be gone. So fine, you didn't get yet but to me. But it's fine. Maybe it wasn't my time. Yeah, that's that's another thing. So you didn't get yet to which one? The last one that you didn't get, and you were like, Shit. "Why do you want me? Why do you want me to talk about my downfalls?" I don't but think they it was make a downfall. Me, yeah. What's another one that hurt me the most? Um, yo, if I didn't touch you, <laughs> which one? So, so which one? Yeah, yeah, blood and water. Blood and Water. Which character? It's on Elama Netflix. Yeah, yeah which, which character? Why? No, I don't know which character. I don't want to say, tell you. The, oh, yeah, that yeah, one. Wendy. 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 Natasha. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's doing okay with it. She's doing good. So why that one you didn't get? Um, sometimes you don't even know why you don't get things. They don't give you feedback. Hey. <laughs> Coming soon, you're like, hey, they don't even tell you re- I've been no, ready the for reason, this. The reason you, you didn't get you it is are because you're very lucky if you get a feedback. But did you ask though for guys I've attended that and that? You are very then. lucky if you get a feedback. Oh, another one that hurt me the most. Mm. I am House of Zwide. I am on TV. I am Shoki. I mean, I am Shalaki. She plays Shoki. Nah. Yeah. That, you see that one. Why? Well, why, 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 why did that one? Well, when you like blood and water, it's mm. fine. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well, yeah. When I Ele, Ele, that was the first time I was actually genuinely like yeah. crushed. Girl. Actually, no, I, uh, I think I'm done with this industry. What, why did you get? Did you not get that one? Um, they were looking for somebody who speaks Setswana slash Selesa mm. and they told me that I'm too stupid. Gosh, oh my days. Uh, yeah. They told me I'm too speaker. And I'm like, mm, that could change. But anyway, Shalat is doing very good at it. Um, I think she is the character. Shut yeah, no, I think she is the character. But it must honestly. be painful. Like, and people say I look like her. I don't know. But are you within within Heart of Zwid? Are you still attending auditions for that? No, for? for? For that for that show. If they call you, do you still go? For House of Zide? Yeah. I haven't received one. But oh. if they were to call me, I would go for it. Damn. Aish. It's going to be heartbroken. Yeah, the river. House of Zide. Yes, yes. But are you still talking to Shoki? I don't know her personally. Do me? I don't know her personally. At all. 
So I'm okay, Sham. So you done, you done MTV Sugar. You went to audition. What was your next gig? Scandal. Scandal. Yeah, I did Scandal. The movie TV. What role were you that playing? That wasn't. Uh, wait, is it Scandal? Yeah, is it Scandal? I did MTV first season or second season. Then I did Scandal. Yes, I played a character called Gugu. On Scandal. Yes. She was a, I don't want to say wild person. She was a, um, what what's the word I'm looking for? Yes, quite this one. What's the word I'm looking for? You know when somebody is, uh, is not, um, yo, say cool. Let me, <laughs> let me pause. Start again, let me pause. <laughs> Woo! Somebody who's easily judged. It's a no, girl, okay. but that's not the word I'm looking for. Mm. It's a, she had tattoos, she had piercings, mm. she dressed all black. Yeah. You know, so yeah. society judges her. Like I said, society mm. will judge you based on how you look. Yeah. And not why you are or who you are mm. from the inside. Mm. So, that, yeah, I played Gugu. She was a fun girl. Um, I feel like they didn't stretch her long enough. Yeah. I would have loved to. How, how many? How many? She would have went. How many months did you do? I did it for like three months. Three months. Mm. So now, here's the thing. You get a script, ne? What is it that do you select on type of script you want to do, type of characters you want to do? Or when you get a script, you do everything like, oh, comedy I can do, no. action what, what I can do. Are you selective on your roles that um, you want to take or... Sorry. I think it's important to know your strengths and your weaknesses. I know my strengths are more on things that are emotional mm. and I know that my strengths are things on like playing a, mm. a loud girl, you know, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. in your face kind of girl. Mm. I know those are my strengths mm. and I know that my weaknesses are things like comedy. I don't think I have, comedy needs comic, comic, comic timing. Mm -hmm. You need to have timing at the thing. So I, I feel like I'm not good at that. But it's also changing my mindset. Yeah, right. Let me not try to be funny. Mm -hmm. Let me just be myself. Mm -hmm. If it's funny, it's funny. If it's not, it's not. Mm -hmm. So I don't do everything. Yeah. Because also, you are not a So you up. And then you're going to end up hating acting because you're going to feel like, oh, no, I'm not good at this. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. So you need, I choose what I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what character do you feel like with all the characters that you played? And then you feel like, damn, this one, I didn't do my best. If I can redo it. For all of them, you were mm -hmm. just rocky. I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, I think I could deep seat. You did deep seat? Yeah. What kind of were you playing deep seat? I played like a journalist. Got them. Me? Yeah. I think that one I could have done better. Um, because also I got it kapele. Like I got told today that I need to come in tomorrow mm. type of thing. So I didn't have time to prepare for that. Mm. And also um what I prepared when I got there they changed it. I was like, Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. You understand? So I feel like I could have done better. I was very nervous mm. and that's it. I was very nervous. Why were you nervous though? Was it the the, the, the the cast or no the cast is amazing so well, why i feel like it's be oh, how do i put it you know sometimes you feel like you're ready for things and then whole future you feel like hey actually i'm mm, not yeah you know? yeah um so immediately for my personal things i shut myself down instead oh, of just being confident yeah so i feel like uh the up uh, the uh, parts of me where I always felt like I want this mm -hmm. but I wasn't ready for it oh yeah. okay so God always put things for me to test me and even though I was there I was delivered I was professional I, but inwardly I was I was not ready because even after gate they will I always judge myself oh I'm always like do you ever watch yourself I have to I what? don't want to but I have to so I can see what I did hey. see where I can do better no it's my dawn after posting an episode you have gone, to watch I don't yourself. even watch it like once the guys because I have someone who does the editing once mm. they're done I just upload it I don't 
I don't like the sound of my voice, watching myself, I'm like, That's I... being a critic, you have to crit yourself. And that's the annoying part, like, you're like, hey, I sound weird here, mm-hmm. I look weird. So even in acting, you're like, mm, you know, I wasn't in the moment. Yeah. So, So was Deep City to... your, your, your last gig? No, I, I shot a film last year. Oh, sh- snap, there's actually things I did in between. I shot a short film last year called um, Jolo the Pandemic. Mm. Was... Jolo the Pandemic? Mm. Oh, I saw it, it was on Zanzi. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did that last year around August. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we are so afraid to talk about certain things that things that are already out there, things that are in the black like, platform of social media and everything. But we are so afraid to talk to talk about it because it's not a norm in society but I feel like the way we can change it is to actually speak out about it to to look out for each other you know sometimes it may not happen to you but it may happen to someone close to you Um, and don't be afraid to talk about it um, how much do you want to get paid (laughs) talking about how much was the highest amount I can't tell you that no, but it's a long time. No, I can't tell you that. Why? How much do you actors roughly, roughly get? That's private. It depends on your core rate or not the guy. Okay. Ne? Also, the, who, who did that for you? Goes on your it, Does the agent experience. negotiate or? Agent negotiates, but they they have to they have to agree with you how how much do you want? Because mm-hmm. they also need to take commission from that. Have you ever declined an uh, an uh, thing a gig because of uh, payment yes. issues? They wanted to pay you a little. Yes. How much was it? I can't tell you that. That's private. What is it? Is it an industry thing? Because I, I spoke yeah. to you. No, but who's this? Um, Elituka? Maybe. I, I don't want to talk about it. Why? <laughs> you know why? Let me tell you. Because mm-hmm. there's a young actress. A young actor there mm-hmm. who wants to come in the industry. Mm-hmm. And they like they don't know how much they're supposed to get your agent should i personally they don't even like, they don't even have an agent and then they'd be like hey here's a gig 300 but the thing is with that that's then that's you being an extra, extra so extras get 300 yes 300 to 350 okay which i feel like it's a, it's a scam what? how much do you think they should get paid mm, at least 500 bro because those people are there the whole day mm. the whole day and but they use their own makeup, their own clothes. Really? Yeah. Extras mostly use their Have own Have you ever clothes. been an extra? No, I haven't. That's not your, your thing. I'm not looking down on people. So, Oshab, since what you don't want to tell me the highest amount, which gig was it that you got the highest paid? Sugar. Ne? Plus, you guys getting paid per week, ne? You can choose if you want to get paid per week or paid uh, monthly. Ne? Yeah, you can choose. Oh, okay. So okay. Yeah, I need my payment monthly, or I need it every two weeks, or I need it every month. It's up so, to you. So now, when you do, have you ever done any uh, intimate scenes? Yes, I have. <laughs> it's my Is you job. okay with it? Would it's you ever do a sex scene? Depend. This is funny. Depending on. The person you're kissing? No. <laughs> Depending on the storyline, mm-hmm. why do I need to do it? Is there a purpose for me to do it? And how much am I getting? You need to... So you negotiate for the sex scene? Yes. So let's say you've been on Heart of Zuidi for like uh, three months or six months. They're like, hey, we have to, there's a scene here that is coming, you need to sleep with such and such. Marako, like things like soapies, they don't have... They play with the perception of you're gonna have sex mm. so i can we can kiss mm. fall into bed and then, then they cut it. that's okay. fine the, 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 you got the wife eh? the one can you did would you have done it i'm not sure hey eh? i don't think so why because that's part of acting i like i said i need to know why am i doing it for the role the role the, but, the thing. but what what's the story behind that what do you mean? What's the story? What's the story so there, there are couples they are making love, but is is it necessary? Yes. Why? People, people must see that these people they're in love. Why? 
I don't. You, I'm not the director. I'm not the writer. I'm just. That's acting. why I'm saying it, it, they needs to. Well, when I have a wife, man, mm-hmm. I can counter for it because even in the book itself, they had such sex scenes. Scenes, yes, yes. That I can counter. So for. you were gonna, you were gonna do. I don't know. I really don't know. I really, really do. I've had a sex scene where I have, I had to be on top of a guy and I was shirtless. You understand? But I was wearing something with less. Oh, okay. That, for me, is fine. I can be willing to say I don't mind showing my boobs or whatever, whatever. Mm. But where they were just like both butt naked and mm. I don't know. That's not... I don't know. I need, like I said, they need to, like, the director needs to sit down and explain her, yo, this and this and this. And how much am I getting, bruv? So you will need extra, see my bum. extra, uh, extra payment on yeah. it. Yeah. What about your partner? Would your partner, would you ever talk to your partner like, XA? I do talk to him, like, with the, with the other scene that I had in a previous production. Mm. It was the first time we encountered that, so I spoke to him about it, and obviously he was not happy. He was not happy, but afterwards we sat and we spoke. We still talk about it even today. Mm, like mm, it's a mm. it's a chat that comes up once in a while. Like hey, how does God with Rukandana well and the No, not about that. Like if ever it happens, for example, you get a scene like Utonali mm. Elevo Kanimbao. And like I, I I will talk to you about it. I'll talk to you about it. I'll give you a heads up for Ayo. This scene is coming. There's a, there's a scene like this in the script. Mm. Um, I know you don't feel comfortable, but at least I'm telling you. Oh, you're just telling him. You're not asking for, for permission. No. It's my job. I don't ask him permission for this job. Oh, but that's, that's my... a different industry. Come on. So? So if there's... No, but don't you think you should be like, ah, baby, like, I'm going to be kissing... So, you have permission to Yeah, I mean, like, come on. So, you just acting? I'm just acting. I tell him, I'm like, hey, there's a kissing scene, or there's a scene that's like this and this and this. Um, I can promise you mm. that it's purely professional, nothing further than that. When they say action, it's action. When they say cut, it's cut. We are not taking it further, mm. and that's how much I can promise mm. you. But at the end of the day, it's my career and it's my job. So, have you ever, have ever maybe like done a kissing scene, and then ah, that guy was not, was not, <laughs> was not what? Was not, he was not making sure. Woo <laughs> 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 wee! Thankfully, I haven't had a lot of those. Thankfully. But the guys that have kissed, they okay. They didn't make sure. No, they okay. They, they can. Who was the worst? Because those are in the past. Like, he was like, dude, you can't even kiss. Like, dude. No. When you're not worrying, I can't Kibabian. say because that person is like a friend of mine right now. He was bad. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't my cup of tea. Ayanda. Who's was Ayanda? I've never kissed Ayanda. Who was it? <laughs> it's a friend of yeah, mine. Yeah, but I, I think I, I'm sure when you watch, like, oh, okay, plus Linda, you are not one, not one, not. <laughs> so, like, before you guys kiss, ne? do you guys talk about it? Yeah. Or, dude, I don't want the tongue? No. Yes, no, definitely. You can't we involve just kiss tongue. lip sync. Yeah, can't involve tongue at all. That's. Oh. Uh, no. You talk. We have to talk about it. Like, what are what are you comfortable with? What am I comfortable with? If you if the person has to touch me, where can they touch me? They can touch my neck or my waist, my arm. You know. You guys talk about that. You have to. You have to get consent, bro. You have to. Lo say no contract. You yeah. What a whole more episode mang mang, scene mang mang. There's a kissing scene or episode mang mang. We need you to be in. A bra and whatnot, whatnot. Mm. So you sign knowing very well that you're gonna do this. I will shop a surprise. Oh, okay. You have to sign. So if if your partner was an actor, was gonna be okay, then I can say it, it doesn't matter. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> he's not. <laughs> so earlier, earlier you spoke about what God has done for you. What is it that one thing that God has done for you, and then you were like shucks, or like maybe you were in a difficult type of a situation, and you didn't know what a like how to get out, and God came through. What situation was that? asking deep things now okay it was last year last year i was not in the best space Mm -hmm. of my life i was in a very dark space um yeah my career was not going good um spiritually as well i was being challenged by a lot of stuff Mm -hmm. Uh, so i felt like everything for me i'm just spiraling into a dark hole of depression mm. um, but the moment where I felt like I'm actually giving up God came in my life mm. he came back and he pulled me out like he li- it literally felt like he took me out of a hole like this mm. um, yeah and like I said he blessed me with what were you different amazing about? family I told you my career my things things were not going well i kept going i kept getting auditions and going and going and not getting them mm. like so it was getting to me mm. what's wrong what am i doing that's wrong mm. am i meant for this like i was questioning myself for mm. like i am over pillow you understand wait for what why am i doing this mm. you know also the stress of social media share about you feel like everybody's very Eesh. successful and you just like mm. sitting there you know mm. i genuinely felt like i'm just sitting and i'm not doing anything so that got to me as well and that's why i took some time off social media as well i was like hmm, mm. this is the devil's work if you don't know why you're on social media um because obviously if you're unemployed you watch TV, mm. you do this, you're on your phone, like all the like your phone is your safe space, you mm. know, or your best friend. Let me not yeah, say your safe yeah. space, your best friend. So it gets to a point where it can get toxic if you feel like everybody else is progressing and you're not. Mm. And, and you can see your classmates. You can see your, your classmates, peers. or yeah, you know, people mm. are doing best. And for me, it felt like, yo, I started off good, and then for some reason, I just took a, mm. you know, a hard knock. So that got to me as well, because all my life I've always been, I've never had to struggle for anything. Mm. Back. If I wanted something, I went for it and I got it. Oh, you understand? Okay. Like all my life, mm. I sang a for anything. So this was the first time where I got a lot of no's and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Mm. You understand? So that got to me big time. But like I said, Nudimu gave me a supportive family gave mm. me a very supportive partner. Yeah. Yes. partner How long have you guys been together? <laughs> yeah, we've been together for two years. Two years. Yeah. 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 Two years. Yeah. 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 But honestly, I when I saw him, I was like, mm. you know, I'm a kid, and I felt something I don't know if I should feel as a kid. But I was like, in grade five, oh, this guy is so cute. Like this, in grade five, yeah, I was like, this guy is cute. But it was like whatever. Like I said, I'm a kid. Mm. I didn't date to him then, so I was like, whatever. Then we were friends. Then we started dating, grade ten. Mm-hmm. We started dating grade ten, uh, till end of my trip. And when we started first year, we broke up. Why? A lot was happening. We were young. We felt like um, we're too young for this commitment. Oh, it was so too much. It was too much. We and wanted to play. Not a play, but explore. Mm. You know, we're going to a different phase of our lives. So mm. let's go before we end up maybe ruining or hurting each other. Mm. Let's just take a break. And like literally, when we broke up, we said we're taking a break. A break, yeah. So then we got back together 2020 till now. Great, great 12. What what year was it? 20, 2012. You broke up in 20... We broke up in 2012, got back 2020. But in between, we were still friends. Like, we would still catch mm. up. Would either 
call each other or text mm. or meet up. Like mm-hmm. I spent my 18th and 19th birthday with him. What? Okay. Mm. And then you could, ever since 2020, you've been together, no breakup, no nothing. Mm-mm. So in the breaking up season, you were dating? I did or you date. Were he just... also dated as well, but we always mm. found a way to, like, you we are the type to... of the XL who exes can't be friends. Like, literally. Yeah, then. <laughs> yeah, that one I agree. So you are, you are not friends with your exes? No, I'm actually not friends with my exes. At all? Then why did you break up with your ex? Which one? The one. Can't many are they? You mean the one that I was the dating? The previous one. The one I was dating before? Yes. Because, man, my partner said, hey, bruv. And I was like, hey, let's go. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> like, my soulmate said. Let's go, you like a uh, summer. Because I dated somebody, mm. but I, you know, when you care about somebody, yeah. you care, but you don't love them like that. Like, because like, you're a nice hey. person. And you've shown me that, and you, but I knew deep down that. This is not. That's you're why, you're, that's you're a good person. You've taught me mm. being with you in a relationship. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned about what I like, what I don't like, what I want. Mm. Also, how can I be a good partner mm. or a good girlfriend, whatever. You know, the limits I can push myself to. Mm. You understand? It yeah. taught me that um, I'm not saying, oh, no, it was just a waste of time. Mm. No, it told me the kind of person I am in a relationship mm. and the kind of person I am as an individual. Yeah, yeah. But I knew deep down, Jorge, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life with you. No. I knew. Like, I just knew. And then this one you are with now, he's the one that for the rest Ole of my life. Ole self. Hey, ham buzor ka orata ke level la kun ka ratente ka na ya na 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 na. Things are that serious between you guys. Bruv, it's for real. Like, yeah. it's real. But how do you know if you love someone? This is the thing. My partner and I, ne? He has taught me a lot mm. about myself. The way I know I love him is that we communicate about anything and everything. Mm. Like we communicate. Whether it's good or whether it's challenging, we communicate. Mm. And the ability to forgive somebody like homokola or what is so anything and mm. not hold it against them. Mm. And just yo. Yeah. People sometimes say, hey, you guys are so good. Hey, relationship and I'm like, but they don't know what you go through mm. to get to that. Yeah. Did he ever cheat on you? Now? Yeah. No. Oh, then he did? Yes. Oh, yeah. The time you were in grade, what, what? Yeah, but that's what I said. It was, it was high school. He cheated. I also was like, like oh, you, you want to do this? Let me also show you who I am. Hey, man. So that's why we said before we hurt each other and mm. ruin what we have. But how did you find out that he was he was cheating on you? Are you going to put this online? <laughs> Some things. Mm-mm. Because I get in, maybe the Kiram Bukabu. You know why I'm asking? Why? Because, like, um, a lot of people they are going through certain things. And it's nice to see people who are in love, and then especially young guys, because of, you know how now things, the way things yeah, are. Yeah, people are going through the most. The most, yeah. But you, you, by you telling your story, people, they can see, oh, okay, it is possible to be. No, I had to tell people. that nigga when he came back. I'm like, I actually asked him, I'm like, Bile, Bile, mm. like, what do you want? Yeah. Um, and he had to tell me what he wants and not just tell me, but his actions also had to show. Oh. So, yeah. I also had to obviously show. You do your part as do well. Do my part as well. And honestly, that's it. Like, having to choose each other every day. I mean, there are people all over. You meet people. There are people everywhere. Mm. But you have to choose that person. Like, this is my person. And this is what I want. And mm. make sure that this works out. You don't get a lot. I'm sure you get a lot of DMs. And Joe, let's go out. Joe, like, ex. I do. I but do. Get, uh, but I'm like, like, anybody who talks to me, I'm like, ah, you know my man. So. <laughs> I know. You know, you know your man. I'm like, you're not my man. So let's mm. move on. What the one thing that you like about him? Love about him. Like. Yo, this guy. <laughs> Name three. He makes me laugh. Mm. He supports me. 
even in days where I don't support myself, mm. he's like, no way, you can't give up on yourself. Mm. He makes me laugh, he supports me, he loves me, he genuinely loves me, and he prays with me. Oh, you guys pray together? Yeah. You lie. We gen- I mean, we met at church, but we pray together. God, our Father who is in heaven. Some, if we can't have a, like a proper prayer, mm. it, we have the Lord's Prayer. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. And what do you think he likes about you? I'm funny. You're funny? I'm very funny. <laughs> I'm stupid. Mm. Um, I'm very supportive of his career. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm very supportive of his... I think, this is what I'm thinking that he loves about me. Mm. <laughs> that I'm funny, that I'm very supportive of his career. He always tells me that he appreciates... Um, the support that I give him and the, mm. how patient I am with him nice. in his career. Mm. Um, and I make his life simple. That guy lives life, nice life. Like, I cook for him. You cook? I, yeah, bro. I'm me. Those whole things, yeah, you can't do this for him. Nah, I do them, bro. <laughs> nah, I will cook for my person. Mm. I will cook for you. I will show I'm you clean. love. I don't iron. I will clean. Why, why don't you iron? I will iron again. So who does the ironing? Oh, but everything else I do. You do, ne? Mm. Oh, that's nice, man. It is nice to see. Like, I'm not going to post that guy. Like, even if someone had something, like they know, but yeah, this person um, is in love. You said um, how many of you guys been together? Three years now. Three years. So you ready? If you can say, I'm born. Kiri. Is he paid the ball or you guys are talking about it? <laughs> We're talking it? about it. Mm-hmm. So you ready? Shucks. Eh, see, these things are serious, Mus. And then do your parents know each other? And and then. If we let our mothers get along. Yo! Ah, that's what you can't break it. <laughs> that relationship. When the family. What, what? Ah, court. Yeah, like, you can't, no matter what you do. In, like, we genuinely. Our mothers get along so well. Mm-hmm. Our mothers were actually happy when we got back together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. I once interviewed this, this, uh, it is on the podcast, this person, and then I, uh, they were dating, you know, the motor high. So every time, you know, I tell her boyfriend the high, the mother-in-law will get sick. Garage, you can like, seriously. Hey, like, every can't, time, bruv. They will get, like, she will get sick, hospital case, what not, what not, mm. and then they have to go and visit her, Bali, too. I don't know, I want you guys to be together and they buy a bunch of like, Because, okay. yeah, man, this thing goes beyond just you and your partner. Like, mm. especially if you introduce families, you already built a bond, a mm. relationship. And then it becomes spiritual as well. Like, it becomes very spiritual, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I mean, obviously, if we talk about intimacy as well, mm. it's not just having sex. Like, you guys become, in, like, very intimate spirits are connected mm. as well Bobo. Mm-hmm. so even families my mom <laughs> there was a time i was like mm, mm, mm. his mom mm-hmm. was like if you guys ever break up or like again you guys are gonna sit down and talk because there's no way you guys are breaking up there's absolutely no way and yeah my partner always tells me that he doesn't see anybody else getting him the way i get him like oh that's fantastic Ah, that's nice. Ah, that guy would little bit on Hashem. Like, yo, 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 Al-Botan, Allah, I get on. So now, what is it that you don't like about the industry that you're in? I know the salary. I don't like the um, lack of sustainability. Like, if you are upcoming and you don't have things like the brandy that are... Sp- like you're not a brand ambassador or you don't have like mm. your established business or you don't have a name, mm. like a proper name. Mm. And we're going to go to the mole then our security. Oh, that's the, one thing. That's the yeah, that's one thing that like frustrates me. Because also if we had things like royalties, that could help a lot in mm. our country. Because they tend to repeat all our shows, but we don't get paid for that again. Are you are you are you a brand ambassador of some sort of or? No? I've been a brand ambassador for a couple of things. No. Oh. So not now, but yeah, but like what like I'm saying, Jorge, if we had things like royalties, if they, for example, like they like repeating sugar 
on almost every channel. Mm. But we don't get paid for that. And if we did oh, get paid for that, that, that will help. That is why they, um, they were saying, shucks, Kunji, what is that? The what what bill that what what were my sign? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the bill that, that contained and every royalties that you guys. That's what we're fighting for. That's what the PMA. There's an organization called PMA. They're oh. fighting for those kind of stuff. For mm. pay people their royalties. Oh shucks. I wonder if we had royalties. That could help a lot of actors. A lot of actors wouldn't They're be struggling. Yeah? Wouldn't be broke. A lot of actors wouldn't be depressed. A lot of actors wouldn't be commi- or artists wouldn't um, be committing suicide mm. because of that frustration like you know i know that i worked so hard for this but now channel is getting all this and and they get paid every time but we don't get paid oh shucks that's genuinely the one thing the one thing i don't like about this industry and, what do you and like i wish about it changes it? it's fun ne? acting it's fun ne? my industry it's food for your soul fu- it's food for my soul it's yo in as much as it's challenging, but it's fun. Because mm. after you get it, you're like, girl, I got you. Mm. You understand? Like, it pushes you inside out, you know? And it also helps you um, build your brand. Like, you already know, outside being an actor, mm-hmm. you already know the kind of... Yeah, so you already know how to get a lot of get a Like being outside of being yeah. an actor, mm-hmm. I like going out. I like movies. I like indoor stuff. I like picnics. Mm. So also, if you want to build yourself as a brand, why you do how to get a lot of love? Yeah, so you stick to that brand as yeah, well. Yeah. You know? So you don't do things that are outside of your comfort zone. Mm. Even though you have to challenge yourself, but you won't do things that are gonna. Be questionable mm. she's everywhere yeah. type of thing. so that's one thing i like about my industry it's very fun okay. it can make you it can break you yeah i yeah, know we're about to wrap up what are your favorite movies three favorite movies <laughs> now or ever the all time like the movie that you can watch over and over like i have it i genuinely like anything that has Jamie Foxx in it because he's my favorite actor. Jamie Foxx? I love Jamie Foxx with all of my heart. That man can act. He's very versatile. Mm. He can act. He can sing. He can do musicals. He, yo, oh, yo. Oh. He's the one. He's the one. For, so anything that has Jamie Foxx in mm-hmm. it. Um, I love action movies. Mm-hmm. But I can't pinpoint right now. Which one you like, ne? Yeah. I used to love Marvel oh, movies. Mm. But I feel like lately, I they But that's the aside, they're not, they're not they, doing the things, yeah, ne? Yeah, 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 lately. But I, I genuinely love Marvel mm-hmm. movies because I actually do want to do action one day. Oh, nice. nice. I'd like to do action one day. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So, Jamie Foxx is your favorite act- actor. Uh-huh. Who else is your, f- your favorite actress? Um, All time. They don't have to be... Okay. They don't have to be South African, man. Yeah. They could matter. Let me see in South Africa. Let me genuinely see in South Africa who I like. Eh? I, I like actors that are very natural. Mm-hmm. Like... You question yourself. Oh, you try act or you Oh, yeah. So yeah. people like um um, what's her name, man? She used what to she play. On? She used to play. Don't know, but Noba's wife on the wife. No. No, 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 no. Oh yes, I know her. I know she's on Kebeka now. On oh yeah. Ah, that lady, she's always been a favorite for me. Even Brenda Brenda Muli. Yes, Brenda. Ooh. Yeah, Brenda, yeah. Brenda. Brenda Brenda give give her a character, she will like, nail it. She will nail it. Mm. So those are the people that are like people that act so naturally. Like what the hell? And then guys. In this country. Mm. Um 
Wow, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> did you watch RLT? Yes, I, I do watch it. What do you think about it? I think it's it's a I like that new actor actually. Which one? Um Wako Adulting. Wale Pantu. Oh I tiki love tiki. that You love Tiki Tiki. You that guy the camera loves him. Nah. That guy knows his angles, he knows his moments, he knows who he's got a thuggish face and he can play with it like Mm. Um, I know. Ooh, I love He's him. on the river now, ne? Yeah, that guy's gonna go far. He's beautiful. Is he doing well? Go, go the river. He is. He really is. Um, I think it's a, it's a, it's a great show. What I'm happy about with this industry is that we are stepping out ne? into the norm that we know of just soapies and yeah. drama and hey, let's cry. Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry. If we're stepping out of that. We, we finding different. Yeah, I don't think it's the one. I don't think, I think the it's wife. pretty dope. Yo, oh, sorry. The wife. You you have read the book. Uh-huh. Yeah. People who, who have read the book, they have different views on on the regarding no, the show. Listen, um, it says it's an adaptation. Mm. Cool. I understand that. But I feel like there are certain things. They were just trying to be a lot and mm. we could have done without those things. Let's what is the story? Why are no. you telling this? At the end of the day, what is the story? Are you do you wanna open There has to be a middle, a beginning and an end. Why are we going through this? Next minute when I live <laughs> You read the book. It's not even about reading the book. It's just mm-hmm. about. Do you like the first? It's about knowing. It's second? about knowing. It's about knowing when to stop. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't. We can have a lot of dope ideas, but not all dope ideas need to make it. Mm. Not all of them need to make it. You can keep. It's a good idea, but you can keep it for another show. Oh, it doesn't need to be, be here. here. Okay. So you can't put all the great ideas into one. You end up losing the plot. Or, okay. Oh, what's going on now? You understand? So that's that's the that's the angle that you have when you are watching each and every. Yeah. You don't watch us like ah. This, I don't watch us just the like, per, like, ah, like ah, these no. people can act you. No, I'm like. I won't take away from the acting. The acting, the acting is amazing, is beautiful. yeah. Beautiful. Like, eh, yeah, no, they're good. But it's like, because there are some things that can make a good actor look like a bad actor. Mm-hmm. Because they end up losing the plot. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Now it makes the actor feel like they're exaggerating. And that's not the, it's not the actor's fault. Mm, the know? script, ne? So, so who's the one that is like, ah, guy, why, why are you doing? Leave acting alone. Mm-mm. <laughs> uh, okay, so <laughs> it is fine. Uh, what is it, as Lerado, mm-hmm. what is it that I always ask these three questions on my channel? What is it that you like? Ne? About? It can be anything. What you like, but the people don't like. And then. For example? It can be anything. No, give me an example. Okay, for me. An example, for example, ex- example, you find out that you don't like Amapiano. You like Amapiano, but other people don't like Amapiano. It can be anything, it can be a car, it can be a show. Oh, what is it that you like that everyone don't like? Can be food, can be... Yo, I don't know. Can be, okay, what is it that you like that everyone don't like? I don't know what people like What is and it that you like? like? can be anything. The Duga said, yeah, and he does not like, he does not understand trap music. Most of the people love trap music. Okay. And then Yena is like, ah, guys, trap, what the heck is that? Okay. Mm. I like... <laughs> and then very awkward question. he said, um, someone said, Yena, he does not like sitcoms. Like, what's the point? We're wasting our time with sitcoms. Another person said, they don't like... Uh, People who keep books, like what do you've done with reading books? Give them away. Why are you still keeping them? Okay. Sorry. Um. <laughs> awkward. What do I like? I like. I don't know how. To, how to, I don't know how to mm. explain, but I like weird music. 
I don't know, like genre A, like Ngari, it makes you go into a trance, like get the instrument, be like alternative music. Okay. I love alternative music, and some people find it weird. People like um albums like Bonobo, or um Little Dragon. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. See, you don't even know. Them. No. <laughs> but no. <laughs> No, I, I, and this, I don't know. It. Yeah, but Bonobo, mm-hmm. Little Dragon, like those kind of weird songs. I love that. No, okay. I, love I feel like it speaks to me. That's how you. That's song. how you prepare for a script. Like yeah, you play those. Yeah. What roles you What role do you wanna play? I wanna play a psycho person. Really? Yes. You will play Nandi if maybe it ever happens that they 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 do a Nandi part. I'd like to play her. I would. I genuinely would like to play her because I'm struggling. Oh, movie, I'm like, genuinely struggling to understand what happened psychologically. Hore, a switch from the successful woman that she was, mm-hmm. a respected woman. She had a career. Mm. She had a family. She had kids. Everything was going well for her to just go risk all of it for this. Like. Like I'm struggling to get it you psychologically. You wouldn't risk anything for your partner. Tongo. No. My freedom. <laughs> I can just laugh. My freedom. You wouldn't uh, risk anything for your partner. I always say this, ne. I'm willing. Like for example, ne. If I want to tara a heist, you take each other go to tongo. I'd rather die than get tongo. Yeah, but if your partner come with a perfect plan, now you must also live on the edge. Every time I wanna vena my partner, so I talk to I never. Not your life. I never. I, that's why I'm saying I'd rather die than go to jail. I don't wanna live. I don't wanna be like uncomfortable. Mm. I wanna be free. Like no, I wanna know that. Like, I wanna you play. Any... You know, my oh, conscience is clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you love to play Nandi, pa? I'd love to, just so that I can understand her. And then who will play Tabo Baxter? Who do you see in the There's a there's a there's a trend now, but um Tana what's his name? Mutusi. Oh yes. I feel like Mutusi would kill it. That nah. Mutusi is a great act yeah, actually Mutusi is one of my favorite actors. That but man you don't think he's typecast? No. Um if you've watched Unseen on Netflix, mm. he's actually killing it. He's playing like a nerdy um, uh, author, mm. journalist. I'll, I'll watch it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's proper on it. So, mm. Mutis is actually a brilliant actress because that man can go psychologically mm, yeah, into can. a character. Mm. Like, <laughs> but I love it! Doesn't, like, Mutis is like Mama Cobra, what's your name? I don't know what's that lady's name. I'm bad with names. Mush- Mushidi. Or Mushidi. You ask me. Mushidi. I think yeah. it is Mushidi. I'm bad with names. She's an amazing actress. Ne? You see, Lena, she goes psychological, psychologically because if we remember that character, Hayako Rhythm City. Mmm. Yes, Kim Mama Dumia. She was beautiful. She was killing it. So, yeah. I think Mutusi would kill it. So you never risk anything for your partner? I am willing to do things, but not my freedom. Not your freedom, ne? Mm-mm. So... That's the life, isn't it? We must live and do things. Nah, I'm not going to be able to do Oh dear, someone was saying that <laughs> the Nandipa story, it reminds us of um, Bonnie and Clyde. Nah. <laughs> I never, you. Never, ne? I never, you. What are you currently working on? Um, building my own business right now. I don't have anything in terms of acting. Business? What type of business? Is it? Um, I do candles. Any scented candles or any candle you'd want, like for confirmation, whatever parties. I've also started a. Creative, um, creative art photography company. Mm. So, if for example you want to do a photo shoot, an artistic photo shoot, you oh, talk to me about it, then okay. I I help you set it up. Set it up. 
Oh, and I'll help nice. you know what is it that you need. Mm. And I set up for you. All you need to do is just come through and do your photo shoot. So if you have a family photo shoot you want, or an artistic one, or whatever, then yeah. Do you take the pictures? No, I have a, a photographer. Oh, shucks. We should have spoken last week. I have a client, but I'll tell you all about it after this. And then uh, what else are you working on? How much are the candles? They vary depending on what you want. You must tell us and we will post it there. Maybe you'll get a few clients. I'll let you know. Last, last, last question. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? <laughs> let me see. I've been saying I want to be a stripper. What? Just for extra man. Do you ever strip for your partner? That's private. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? What would my name be? Okay, if you were a porn star, that's, that's the last two questions that I ask people. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? And then, what will, if you were a porn star, what would your name be? And then, if you were a porn star, obviously, what would be your favorite name? <laughs> Woo! My favorite position. Ah, my that's not personal. If you can Yo. be... See, unless I'm an introvert and I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> so what position would it be? My favorite position. <laughs> it's from the back, yo! Oh my God. <laughs> it's from the back! Woo! That's your favorite. Mm -hmm. Any day. Mm. Okay, cool. You see, I haven't mentioned mm. your 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 partner's name. What does he do? You see, I'm very respectful. And then my um my porn star name. Mm. What would my name be? I think I'll call myself like. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious chic. What? Mysterious chic. Mysterious chic. Mm. Why? Because I want to be mysterious. You're gonna look at me and think, oh, this one is so sweet. And then, mm. bah, bah, bah. Hey, you show flames. Yeah. <laughs> From the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. No man, thank you for coming through with Dan. Unless it's the same thing you wanna share with us. Any advice you wanna give for someone who wants to be on TV, you want to be an actress, yeah, have a to backbone, be an actor. guys. <laughs> have a backbone, do your research, and know what you're getting yourself into. Like, yeah. that's it. Have a, the, you need a backbone, for real. Like Backbone how? Like, what do you mean by that? You need to be able to take a lot of no's before you get that one yes. So it cut no. for you. That's what Has it is. And backbone in terms of don't... Like mm. there are so many things that they can give you like this. Oh, you know, silver platter. Mm. Like he says, then you end up doing things that are outside of your morals or values, mm. like drugs. Or have you been offered drugs? No, I haven't. But I've been offered roles based on having to sleep with somebody. You lie. So you need to know, like, hey, so where my morals. you, you, you need can't to be know. There. You can't Let's, just. I'm going into it. Yeah. So you need to know, Jorge. Yeah, I mean, it would be dope to get a role and be like, fuck, I made it. I mean, sorry. Yeah, I you made it. You can show it's fine, it's a podcast. I made it and shit mm. like that, but are you gonna, like my, I said, my conscious, now I'm my conscious to mm. work with you, so. Am I, am I deviating my morals, mm. my values, like, you know? Mm -hmm. Also, whether, like, would you, would you want your mom to know that that's what you did? Yeah. For me, for me. So someone said you're gonna get this role. Which show was it? Mm -hmm. Or you can put off camera. Maybe. So yeah. like they offered, they offered you to. Mm -hmm. Damn. Like like I wanna like does it say, are sleep with me? You're gonna get this role. Like or like how does it? No, they. Some do do that. Some are very like straightforward with it. Like you can go for an audition and they love you and then. But the three there, there's more than three people more. Yeah, my girl, I'm not going to crack all the sight. I'm going to die, man. Oh, oh, how fast I'm going to run, man! I'm not telling you. You know? 
those things happen. So they can be straightforward like that. Or somebody can genuinely be nice with you, like string mm. you along, like, you know, I'm this kind of person, blah, 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 blah. Next minute they say, um, no, I'm actually working on a production. I'm meeting somebody, blah, 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 you know? Mm. Those kind of stuff. So you need to be aware of how they're presenting it or how they're presenting themselves. Type of thing. Oh, shit. So you said no a couple of times. Ah, dude, yes. You never got tempted to all oh, this. This is the big Hey, guys, my morals. But just one night. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> yo guys yo man so where can people find you is there any show that is coming that you're gonna be on so that people can watch not yet but there are things that are being done that's mm. all I can say you're shooting something all I'm saying is that I think that I've been. What people are why actors and actors and musicians love to sing them? As soon as I see just camera, like, hey, I'm working on this because thing, you gonna... don't want to count your chickens before they hatch. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't, don't Product, production can change, ne? Lirila shoot the feds about. No, actually, we decided to can this production. Yo. That time I know so good is about to. Mingal huna lo moto salam pota are you only mention. That's when you can say. That's when you can start talking. Before then, shut up. Get up, hello, si buko. Di kabzela ko dala. Oh, 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 a trailer. We want a trailer. Give me a couple more bullets, like I am. Other than that, mm-hmm. do you have? Do you have? Do you have you ever criticized him? Or you know, you know his friends. We are as as as. With, no, Tapelo is a good actor. Yeah, but with I know with YouTubers, they like ah, oh, where now? Ah, what what is that? So no, do you do. guys do that? Like ah, oh, oh, we do. We do. Can do it. For example, like if we if either one of us has like you know your first time on a new show or mm-hmm. whatever, we come and we watch you. Together, yeah. all together. You yeah. Know. When I had my first, um, yeah, scandal, we all mm-hmm. came through and they sat and they watched. Wait, where did you guys watch? Buddy Lemoyne? No, we went to Randburg. Well, I was here, my mom, they watched together, can't Oh, and okay. It was him and um, other friends of ours. Mm. They watched together and then after that, they called me. They're like, actually, girl, you know? Mm. We see you. Or sometimes they be like, ah, girl. Mm, you know? said, the mother is not make sure. So okay. Okay. <laughs> Do better. You are embarrassing us as, Yo, a, as unit. a group, as yeah, a unit. You are embarrassing us. You never thought of having your own YouTube channel? Like like this? Not like this. It can be, you can do vlogs, you can do... I've tried doing it. I just don't feel like it's me. No, ne. If I'm gonna you do like, if I'm lane. gonna do, yeah, stick on, stick in your lane, bro. Mm. And if I'm gonna do something like YouTube, I would still want it to be something within the arts. Like yeah, if I do yeah. short films, mm. I'd like to do short films and put them on YouTube. That's yeah. what I'd like to do. Yeah, it's been great, uh, mysterious, <laughs> mysterious, <one>. chic. <laughs> this our podcast, please, guys, uh, subscribe, like, share. Thank you very much uh, Thank for you. for coming through. Um, you're gonna do amazing, man. Thank you. I love your energy. I don't know why you don't do interviews because you're so natural. You must do more <laughs> interviews. I'll try. I'll try.